Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Arranger track. The Arranger track was added for Waveform 11, and it's really a simple implementation of this type of feature. Basically, we put in at the top of your edit, you put in these markers, which work almost just like any other clip in Waveform, and then you can drag them around to reorder or extend your song. So I'm going to show you the basic ways that these things work. Now I've put them in here and given them some color. And the way that you add them is either the normal way you would add any clip by dragging in the clip object. You can drag these onto the arranger track. If you don't see the arranger track, you go up to the eye, the visualizer for the user interface, and you'll see arranger track here. You can turn it on or off right there. You can program a keyboard shortcut for it if you'd like. In the Settings tab, go to the Keyboard Shortcuts page, type in a few letters of the word Arranger, Show or Hide Arranger Track. You can add a keyboard shortcut to that if you'd like. So this Arranger clip, I'm just going to delete that. All right, so I want to take this verse, and you can see that the clips associated with that are going across multiple tracks. But I want to just basically drag this and create verse 2. So the way you do that is to hold the body of this clip and drag it out to here. When I let go, I can copy the section or move the section. I don't really want to move the section. That would slice it out of there. We'll do copy section. And now I have a new section here. If I double click on this, I can rename that to verse two. And either in the actions area or in properties, you can change the color of that. I have the favorite actions set to option A, then you can just pop it up right over there and set the verse and the color like that, provided you have those set as favorites for this kind of clip. If you look over in the Actions tab, this isn't available on the free version of Waveform, but those of you who are running the Pro version have this Actions tab in the browser. You can set the favorites for the kinds of things that you want to do here. Otherwise, you would do that in Properties. If we open the Properties panel, you'll see the same things down here. Just takes up a little more screen real estate. Same thing, different way to do it. So now that I have that, I have verse two. So if I wanted to grab the pre-chorus and drag that out to here, then I can also copy that section and we'll take the chorus as well and copy it here. And so I'm building up things that I can now edit or change for the song. So what if I have verse two here? Let me just set this as verse two. I'm gonna do my option A or chorus two rather, and I want to swap chorus one and chorus two. We well, just drag this by the body. If you drag it by the header, you just move the clip around. But if you drag it by the body, you're actually moving that whole section. So you can do two things. Look, here I can insert it in this spot between chorus one and chorus two. So say I wanted to for whatever reason, move it into two choruses in a row. I can do that. I'll do undo. Or I can drag it over the entire thing and select either replace or swap. So in this case, I want to swap chorus two and chorus one. So those are the basics for doing the arrangement. But I do want to show you one other trick for how to actually enter these. Now I'm going to remove a couple of these arranger clips and just click them, you can freely delete them. So as long as you're not dragging them, deleting them doesn't do anything. It doesn't cut that section out from your song. You can put in these clips in addition by holding down the command or the control key, the command key if you're on a Mac or control key if you're on a PC or Linux. And you can see it puts in a new arranger and I'll click it, and then down here in Properties, then you can give it the name of your section. Could be as simple as just calling that Section A, and then you can assign the color here. 
These clips also have resizing options, much like audio clips or MIDI clips. If you grab this little triangle, you can size that right along with the snap to grid option. You can also duplicate them if you hit the D command. So if I put, want to do a B section like this, type in B, and you can split them just like any other clip with the slash key like that. And then once you've got them in here, you can start to use them by just dragging from the body. So if I want this little piece of this song and move it back, then just drag it over here, insert it, and I'll say copy section. Copy section. So you can build it up. Once you get the trick, it's a little confusing at first because you would think that if you start to drag this around, that will drag around the pieces of the song and shuffle them. But it doesn't work exactly like that. It works in a very simple, but kind of typical traction waveform type, type of way. So you grab it by the body, and then you can drag it to an insert point or to this kind of replace or swap point. When I was first working with this, I didn't see this kind of insert line, which allows you to move the section or copy the section in between the other clips. Well, that's how the arranger track works in Waveform 11. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in another video very soon.